Hello friends, I am Dr. Arjit Sam and today we will discuss about high altitude. So when we go to the high altitude, there is decrease in oxygen contained in the atmosphere. Since there is decrease con oxygen contained outside, there will be the inspired air which we take has a decrease oxygen. So there will be a decrease oxygen in the lung. Since there is a decrease oxygen in the lung, there will be decrease oxygen in the blood. So we have decrease oxygen contained in the blood that is decrease in PAOT that PAO2 arterial oxygen contained is decreased since there is decrease in oxygen in our blood now body will try to compensate for compensation body will try to in search of more oxygen it will hyperventilate to get more oxygen so when we are hyperventilating there will be more oxygen intake but instead of that we are excreting out more carbon dioxide so what happened there is a decrease in oxygen contained in the blood ventilation has increased ventilation has increased now since there is increase in ventilation there is excretion of carbon dioxide from the body leads to the decrease in partial arterial carbon dioxide level which leads to alkalosis known as respiratory alkalosis since our body has alkalosis it again try to compensate how it will really compensate for maintenance of the ph in the body it will try to excrete the alkaline ion from our body that is bicarbonate through kidney so there will be increase bicarbonate excretion through kidney If the body is unable to maintain the alcohol, the pH in the body, then additionally from outside we will augment this process of the body by giving a drug known as a acetazolamide. Acetazolamide. It is a diuretic that helps to excretion of the bicarbonate but I am from our body. So it will excrete this bicarbonate excretion from the kidney and it will be a helpful drug even when you are going to the high altitude mountain climbing if you are developing the mountain sickness what are the symptoms that can occur in the when we go to the high altitude how will know that we are getting mountain sickness there will be start of the headache may patient may get nausea vomiting dizziness lack of sleep if there is more severe form, then there may be acclimation of fluid inside your lung, known as pulmonary edema. Even it can, there will be acclimation of fluid inside your brain. These are the severe form of mountain sickness. For that, he or she needs to rapid decline to the lower altitude. Consult the doctor, maybe provide you the oxygen supplementation and stirrups. Besides this, there are the other changes that occurs in, in the high altitude, and that are if you ever have a chronic hypoxia so there will be a chronic chronic hypoxia then kidney will secrete erythropoietin erythropoietin this erythropoietin helps to increase the hem hemoglobin and hematocrit in the body there will be other changes as well like since you know about the oxyhemoglobin dissociation curve when it shifts to right it leaves the oxygen to deliver deliver to tissue since there is hypoxia tissue needs oxygen for that we need oxygen to be extract from the hemoglobin and for that this oxyhemoglobin dissociation curve should shift to the right that is oxygen should be delivered it should be up unload from the hemoglobin and delivered to the tissue for that the source curve shifts to right only when there are the few conditions like if there is acidic environment there is high hydrogen concentration high carbon dioxide concentration if there is increasing acid CO2 level then 
टू थ्री बी पी बी पी जी टेम्परेचर सो इन दिस कंडीशन दिस ऑक्सी हेमोग्लोबिन डिस्ट्रेशन सेफ्ट राइट इफ वी नाउ इंक्रीज दिस बॉडी इंक्रीज दिस टू थ्री बी पी जी then what happened this oxygen hemoglobin dissociation got shift to right and oxygen that is present with the hemoglobin will deliver to the tissue so in chronic hypoxia case there will also increase in 2 3 2 3 2 3 2 3 2 so we are saying that erythropoietin in chronic if you are going to the higher altitude there is increase in erythropoietin which increase in hemoglobin there is increase in 2 3 bpg there is also increase in mitochondria mitochondria in further if there more chronic hypoxia is maintained then that is a property of lung then in case of the hypoxia that will cause the vasoconstriction so long blood vessels are constricted so if there are the vasoconstriction that will increase the pulmonary circulation hypo hypertension pulmonary circulation pressure will be increased that is known as the pulmonary hypertension so that will lead to the again right ventricular hypertrophy so these are the changes progress when you when you goes to the hypertension